Donald Trump has again criticized the cost of Lockheed Martin's F-35 fighter jets and tweeted that he has asked Boeing to offer a prize for an older aircraft that lacks the same stealth capabilities. Trump posted his message on Thursday, a day after the president-elect met the chief executives of both aerospace companies. In after-hours trading following the tweet, Lockheed shares fell 2% and Boeing's rose 0.7%. While the F-35 program has been dogged by problems and costs have escalated to an estimated $379 billion, it is significantly newer than the F-18 Super Hornet Trump referred to. The aircraft does not have the same stealth capabilities. They're two completely different aircraft from different generations, said Philip Carter, a senior fellow at the Center for a New American Security, a Washington-based think tank. It's like comparing an old Jeep to a Humvee. While the F-35 program has been dogged by problems and costs have escalated to an estimated $379 billion, it is significantly newer than the F-18 Super Hornet Trump referred to. The aircraft does not have the same stealth capabilities. They're two completely different aircraft from different generations, said Philip Carter, a senior fellow at the Center for a New American Security, a Washington-based think tank. It's like comparing an old Jeep to a Humvee. Dan Grazier of the Project on Government Oversight, a nonprofit that investigates government contractors, said the F-35's stealth capabilities drove up the cost, and its usefulness had not yet been demonstrated. He said canceling the program, however, would be disruptive. On the campaign trail, Trump touted his negotiating skills as a businessman, and he appears to be using similar tactics as he prepares to take office on January 20th. It was not clear how his blunt style would translate to Pentagon procurement or international diplomacy. On Wednesday, Trump met the CEOs of Lockheed and Boeing at his resort in Palm Beach, Florida. Boeing CEO, Dennis Muhlenberg, said he had guaranteed costs would not get out of control for a replacement to Air Force One, the presidential plane, another project Trump has called too expensive. Lockheed chief executive, Marilyn Hewson, did not speak to reporters but said in a statement the meeting was productive. Trump said he wanted to cut the F-35 program's costs. If Trump scrapped the F-35, such a move by a new administration would have some precedent. President Jimmy Carter cancelled the B-1 bomber program in June 1977, although it was resurrected by his White House successor, Ronald Reagan. Trump's jockeying for leverage via his Twitter account is likely to be a hurdle for all his defense contractors in the next administration, Roman Schweitzer, aerospace and defense analyst at financial services firm Cowan & Company, wrote in a note to clients on Thursday. We have no idea how this plays out but believe Twitter risk for defense companies could be a significant issue over the next four years, Schweitzer wrote. This is Lockheed Martin's time in the barrel. Right double quotation mark. Lockheed declined to comment. The F-35 program is a critical sales generator for the company, accounting for 20% of last year's revenue of $46.1 billion. The Pentagon did not immediately respond to a request for comment. Boeing spokesman Todd Blecker said in an email the company was committed to providing the capability and affordability to meet national security needs. If you like this video please leave a like and subscribe.